year four. Uh, welcome back to year two. I hope you've all had a lovely weekend. Um, this week our focus is going to be on subtraction. So I'm going to start off by modelling three questions for you. Please feel free to have a go along at home. Um, and then I'll be setting you um, some questions for you to complete independently ready for tomorrow's lesson. So first question we're going to do is 4,249 subtract 1,926. So using my place value counters, I'm going to make the number 4,249. Four tens and nine ones. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, I'm also going to set out the calculation in the abstract method so we can do it at the same time. So, first of all, I'm going to start off with my ones. So, nine ones subtract six ones. So, I'm going to subtract six ones, leaving me with three ones. Next, I'm going to look at my tens column, and I've got four tens, and I'm going to subtract two tens, leaving me with two tens. Next, I'm going to look at my hundreds column. So at the moment, I've got two hundreds, and I need to subtract nine hundreds. At the moment, I can't do that because I don't have enough hundreds. So I need to go into my thousands column and exchange a thousand for ten hundreds. Yes, leaving me now with 1,200. Okay, so on my abstract, I'm going to show that now that I've got 3,000 left and 1,200. With my 1,200, I'm now going to subtract 900, leaving me with 300. And then finally, 3,000 subtract 1,000 equals 2,000. So my answer is 2,323. Okay, at home you may not have place value counters, so I'm going to model for you another way that you could complete a calculation. So if I have a calculation of 5,146, subtract 2,598, okay, I'm going to build my number 5,146. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to start off by making a bit of a place value chart. So I've got my thousands, hundreds, tens and ones. I'm going to use little square blocks. At home you might be able to use Lego blocks, marbles, etc. So I'm going to have 5,100, four tens and six ones. Three, four, five, six. Okay, once again, I'm going to set the calculation out in the abstract method. And I'm going to start again with my ones. Okay, so I've got six ones, subtract eight ones. At the moment, I can't subtract eight from six. So I need to go into my tens column and exchange one ten for ten ones. So bear with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, which will then leave me now with 16 ones and three tens. Okay, so with my 16 ones, I can now subtract eight. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, leaving me with eight ones. Now I've got three tens and I want to subtract nine tens. Once again, I can't do that. So I need to go to my hundred, okay, and exchange 100 for 10 tens. Bear with me again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now I have no hundreds and thirteen tens. Now I'm going to do thirteen tens, subtract nine. So two, four, six, eight, nine, leaving me with four tens. Okay, now I'm going to look at my hundreds, zero hundreds, subtract five hundreds. I can't do that, so I need to go into my thousands column and exchange one thousand for ten hundreds. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now I've got four thousands and ten hundreds. So I'm now going to subtract five hundred from ten hundreds, leaving me with five hundreds. And then finally, in my thousands following four thousands, subtract two thousand, leaving me with two thousand. So my answer is two thousand five hundred and forty-eight. Okay, the last calculation I'm going to be showing you today, I'm just going to model with using the abstract method. So, I'm, we're going to have a go at 5,000 subtract 3,700. Okay, so I'm going to set that out using my abstract method again, making sure I align my digits accurately. Okay, first of all, 0, 1 subtract 0, 1s is 0, 1s. 0, 10, subtract 0, 10s, 0, 10s. 0, 100, subtract 700. I can't do that. So I need to go into my thousands and exchange 1,000, leaving me with 4,000 for 10 hundreds. 10 hundreds, subtract 700 is 300. And finally, 4,000, subtract 3,000 is 1,000. So my answer is 1,300. Okay, so now it is your turn. We have set up for you four calculations that we would like you to have a go at at home. Please check back tomorrow for the answers. Have fun.